Home Designs and I wanted to do a short video on how to use my support spindle. Uh, first I want to show you that um, the support spindle will come with a leader string. This is a bottom whorl uh, drop spindle but I wanted to show you that it will have a leader string like that and uh, the leader string you just would take um, and wrap up, the, wrap up the shaft and the loop at the end of the leader string you will just take a little bit of your pre-drafted fiber and that's how you will begin your uh, leader string. Now I have a, a uh, support spindle here already begun. Um, they're 11 inches long and they come with a bowl or without a bowl. Um, some people like the matching bowl and so I um, include that, but actually I spin just on my lap and actually I like to lay back, watch some TV, um, have my legs up on the couch and be able to spin on my lap. Uh, so, I've already started to build a cot here and so you take this and I kind of spin it up the edge and actually I want to show you first, I put a little bit of a groove on the edge and you can actually wrap this around your your uh, index finger and that will actually hang in the groove so you can actually use that as a bottom whorl spindle too, bottom whorl drop spindle um, but I prefer to use it as a support spindle but I make it so that you can do both it's sanded smooth so that it'll just go off, it'll just flick off the top now this, I kind of learned how to uh, kind of uh, do a long draw by using a support spindle. I had a problem learning how to do a long draw on my wheel, um, but I got a lot better as I used these uh, support spindles. So you just kind of, you give this a flick in a, in a clockwise direction, and it puts spin, and then you can just pull that out. Spin it and pull it out. Now, if you feel like, oh, there's not quite enough twist, what I do is just give it some spin and give it a little tug. You can say, oh, that feels very firm. You unspin it and you wind it on your cock. Wind it up the shaft. You can draw that out. Give it a little spin and then just pull back. And it just naturally drops. The spin goes into it. And I don't know, I just love the feel of it just drafting and drawing right out of the fiber supply. You can just keep doing that, put a little spin in it. It just keeps on twisting right out of the fiber supply. You're just holding your fiber supply very gently. Now, my arms are only so long, so I then take this. I'll put extra spin in there just to make that a really nice firm yarn. Put a nice spin in there. I unwind it and I continue to build my cop. And I wind it once the cop and wind it up again. Draft it a little. Put some spin in it. Draft. Spin. Pull it back and draft. You can just see that spin goes right up in there and not too far into the fiber supply. And it's just, I just really enjoy the feeling. I think it's a great way to spin. My support spin, 11 inches long, which I think gives plenty of room for putting a lot of fiber on it. I have built a cop that is very large, very full. Um, and it also is a nice size for flying. Um, sometimes I will, uh, I will uh, spin yarn on a drop spindle and then ply on the support spindle because you don't get the weight. You can put a lot of yarn, a lot of fiber onto a support spindle, but you're not hanging it from that. So the weight is supported on your leg, and so you can put quite a lot of yarn. It can get quite heavy. Um, and it can get quite large, the cop. So I think that is the really the great thing about the support spindle. Um, also, this is very sturdy. It's not going to break. Um, you can throw it in a bag, take it with you, um, and spin anywhere you want to spin. 
Um, so this is Walnut Farm Designs uh, support spindle.